All right, folks. So in today's issue of Cops and Crime, what I want to talk about is a Patriots fan, Dale Mooney, 53 years old. He had a heart attack and got punched in, uh, in a fight that he instigated over in Gillette Stadium as his beloved uh, uh, you know, Patriots team was losing to the Miami Dolphins, and he got in a fight, and uh, he lost. He lost, and unfortunately, he lost his life. And a lot of people out there are saying that the Dolphins fan committed murder and all these things. No. When, when you leave a certain seating area to go to another seating area to get into a physical altercation with somebody else, over a football game because you are living your life vicariously and you can't deal with it. I mean, this is the whole reason I don't go to sporting events, people. You know what I was on Sunday, people? I was at the gym. I was lifting weights. I was working on the heavy bags. I was doing cardio, okay, because I want to keep myself in shape. I'm 56. I'm three years older than the gentleman who died. I weigh 196 pounds. I'm 5'10 and a half. I don't know how tall this guy was. I don't think he was much taller than me, if any taller than me. He looked like he weighs probably 300 pounds. I mean, just look at it. Look how big he was. You can't go around getting in fights with people, okay? And we do have an autopsy coming up, and I guarantee you the autopsy is going to show this guy died of a heart attack. His arteries are clogged. He had hardening of the arteries, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, probably pre-diabetic. And they're going to go ahead and say, yeah. The right says, preliminary autopsy reports did not suggest traumatic injury, did not, but it did have identified medical issues. So there you go. He didn't get traumatic brain injury from getting punched in the head. He had a heart attack. And what we have here, to back up what I'm thinking, is we have someone called Joseph Kilmartin, who is going ahead, and he's a pa Patriots fan and a witness. And he says that um, this is how the fight went down. He says, quote, once he stuck his back up and you could see his head again is when he got two punches to the head from the Dolphins fan. As soon as he was punched, he fell unconscious. Even before the preliminary autopsies revealed, Kilmartin said he believed Mooney was in distress before hitting the deck. Quote, it did look like at a certain point prior to him getting punched in the head, you can see that his body wasn't moving like it should. And I believe he's having a heart attack already at this point. The 29-year-old exterminated. Well, okay, 29-year-old exterminated. He's not a medical doctor. Does he have any martial arts experience? Does he have any fitness experience? Who knows? But... You can go ahead and say someone's five foot ten, someone's six foot tall, they weigh three hundred pounds. What are you doing getting all the cation for in the first place? That, that's my. I think this guy had a heart attack first. It says once he was out cold, he fell. In my opinion, I wasn't the blow that did it. I think in the tussle, the hockey fight aspect of it, I think he began to have a heart attack. I think he got so worked up in the scuffle that caused him to have a heart attack. Whether he was punching ahead or not, he was already suffering from a heart attack. There you go, folks. That's what I think. I am totally in agreement with that. Based on what I've seen and the physical condition of this gentleman, I believe that the autopsy is going to show that he died of a heart attack. And they made lists as a secondary or third ancillary cause of death getting punched in the head. But it's not going to be, a, this, is not, this is not a traumatic brain injury getting hit. Okay, I have a friend who was a Patriots fan who lived in New England. He came to Chicago here and he finally got himself a place. And right after the Patriots went ahead to win to go to the Super Bowl, which I think they either won or lost. I can't remember. This was a few, this was back, back in 2012, right? People 2011, something like that. He slipped going up the stairs and was walk up with his gray, gray stone walk up. And he slipped and he hit his head about two o'clock in the morning. He was probably having a few drinks and stuff like that. And it was icy. Someone comes out at eight o'clock on, you know, eight o'clock Monday morning to go to work. And they see him laying there. He was in, he was in the hospital in the coma for a week or two. And he died. Traumatic brain injury. That's because... My friend was six foot tall, weighed about 260 pounds, and he, when he slipped at the top of the stairs, he went all the way down to the bottom of the stairs, and he cracked his head a couple of times on the stairs and on the concrete on the way down, and he got traumatic brain injury. He didn't have a heart attack. The cause of death was traumatic brain injury. That's why he died. His brain basically got destroyed, and he even had to drill a hole in his head to try to relieve pressure from the brain and all that stuff. They're not, they didn't, you know, this James Mooney guy, he had a heart attack, people, plain and simple. He left the secure comfort of his seating arrangement to go down to physically altercate with other people. He got worked up. He got a heart attack. He got punched in the head. And right as he got punched in the head, he was already having a heart attack. It all happened right at the same time. Boom, he went down and he's dead. Lesson learned, people. Do not take sports so seriously that you're willing to get into a fight over it. Okay, it's not your team. The team doesn't give a damn about you. Okay, do something else with your life besides go to these football events. This is why I don't go to sports, people. I don't, I don't like dealing with the type of people who go to sporting events because a lot of these people are just... They're nuts. My team, and they wear the jerseys, and if you're wearing someone else's jersey, they're ready to attack you and all these things. It makes absolutely no sense, people. Don't get so worked up about it. Don't get so riled up about it. You know, work on yourself. Work on personal, you know, growth and taking care of yourself and your health, and don't take these things so seriously and going ahead and getting into fights. I guarantee you if Mr. Mooney was still alive right now, he'd say, yeah, I made a huge mistake. I got too worked up about this. I shouldn't have done it. You know, I know my health isn't the greatest situation. And, and I put myself and my family at risk, and now he's dead. Now it's too late. I guarantee you, people, the only charges are going to happen possibly at the Dolphins fan of hit him, which may be involuntary manslaughter. And I'll probably plead it down to something, to some disorderly conduct, something like that. I'll probably get 90 days in jail or something like that. He'll probably be banned from NFL stadiums as well. But again, you know, right here it says, 
preliminary autopsy have I revealed that, you know, it was pretty much a heart attack and it was a medical issue. They're not saying it was a heart attack, but I guarantee that's what it is. And they don't show any, they don't show any, you know, they don't show any, any, any traumatic brain injury people. So, you know, it's not good, man. You know, right here, right. He says, I saw him on the ground, knew it wasn't good. I did not look good. As soon as I saw him on the ground, I knew something was wrong. You know, we are heartbroken and, it, 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 you know, the Patriots team talks about it and everything like that. But the bottom line is Dale Mooney went and instigated a physical altercation when he was in no physical condition to be instigating any kind of physical altercation. He had a heart attack. He got punched. He's dead. And it's unfortunate. It's very sad. And hopefully this will be a reminder to people. Don't take it so seriously, people. It's just a game. I know you want to live your life vicariously through a sports team and think, my team, my team. You know, I got to wear the jersey and rah, 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 my team. And if someone else from Miami comes into Gillette Stadium and they're razzing me because my team lost, well, that's it. It's fighting war. It's fight time. No, it's not fight time. It's not fight time at all. You're totally out of your mind, and that's the problem with pro sports, people. People take this stuff way too seriously. This gentleman here took it way too seriously, and unfortunately, his body gave out right at the time that he was taking it way too seriously, and now he's dead, and now there's nothing anybody can do about it to bring him back to life. So hopefully this serves as a cautionary tale, as a warning to others who want to get into sporting events and get riled up. Look at yourself and say, you know what? Maybe I don't need to get up out of this seat and run down to someone else's seat because I want to get all jacked up and riled up. Maybe I just need to sit down, shut up, swallow my pride, make it home to my wife and kids and move along and live for another day instead of deciding that that's it. I have to go ahead and take care of business right now. And now the guy's dead and now there's nothing you can do about it, people. So hopefully everybody out there, stay safe, stay sane, control your emotions, control your mind, control your body, stay in good shape and stay out of trouble and only meet trouble with trouble if trouble comes looking for you. You don't go looking for trouble. So you don't leave your house. You don't leave your car. You don't leave a place where you're at to go instigate with somebody else. Let them say all the things they want. Blah, blah, blah. They can say whatever they want. It doesn't matter. Roll, you know, it's like be like a duck. Rolls off your back. Doesn't matter. If this guy had had that kind of patience and that kind of mentality, he'd still be alive. But unfortunately, he didn't. So, you know, this gentleman pretty much contributed probably 90% to his demise. Yes, he got punched in the head, but I like the like the like the uh, like the witness says this Kilp 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 Kilpatrick guy, whatever his name is, Kill Martin says that he says, yeah, he think that it was already happening right when it was happening. So he basically was already having a heart attack. So this so this Dale Mooney guy probably had a heart attack and was already like ready to go down and then just got hit. Because you see the punch, I mean it's it's a decent punch. You know, but he had to kind of lean over and go forward and it was someone else in the way trying to get it. So I don't, he didn't really connect with full force. It wasn't like he was standing like six inches in front of him. He just leaned back and hit him with all his weight, bam, right into it. You know, you know, 600 pounds pressure. No, that, that punch he got hit was maybe 200 pounds, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe 250 or something like that. It wasn't enough to kill you. And he had, a, this guy, this gentleman had a heart attack and he died. And unfortunately he paid the price um, for doing that. And, um, you know, it's a sad situation all the way around. And uh, another reason not to go to pro, pro sports events and deal with a bunch of drunken idiots, right?